Okay, in this video I'm just going to kind of show you how I put on another layer of the joint compound. You can see I got a big hole there. And uh, the trowel that I'm using is a pool trowel. It's, uh, it's what it's called. And uh, I've liked it. I've been using it for years um, for stucco and for drywall and plaster. And you can always start with smaller batches. You don't got to goff it on like I am and begin a little bit at a time and even use a smaller trowel to get to fill these areas. But I do need to put a lot of, excuse the uh, zooming in and outs on autofocus. And I do need to put a lot on and I'm actually going to use a straight edge in here to uh, give you an idea how I, how you can flatten it with a long flat board or even a long um, flat piece of metal. Now, some people I, I've known, have, I've even done it before, have, have used levels. I've just used a, grabbed a level and used it as a straight edge. But I'm just kind of filling in some areas and uh, then um, once I think it's ready I'm going to grab the old straight edge. But uh, you can see we've still got quite a bit to fill in. And there is going to be a crown where the new drywall butts the existing drywall in these areas. Sometimes it's going to be better just to remove the drywall than to do something like this. And of course, uh, for me, I think it's always a challenge. I'm going to go ahead and go for it and see if I can flatten this out. And I wouldn't have gotten as good as I am at doing this if uh, I didn't take on little challenges like this every once in a while or do enough of them. So just something to consider. If you um, have a small area and you can remove the drywall, that might be better. You know, if you're doing this type of a job on a building that, uh, you know, has a ceiling that's 20 foot by 40 foot, it's not, you're going to have to uh, do something like this. And that's going to require building up the other side of the break, which is what I was doing just uh, the, just there, you know, putting a little more plaster on the opposite side of the break. And you can see where the break is. It's almost uh, got a, like a brown line there. So, and then now I'm going to use a straight edge to um, try and uh, scrape off the high points, let's say, of this. And you don't got to do this all in one day. It doesn't have to be done. You know, you can, you know, unless you're in a hurry, I got you there. But uh, if you are in a hurry, you're going to have to use fast setting plaster also. But I wasn't. I just kind of got it uh, good one day and then came back and did it again the next day. 